Hello, this is Becca from Willow Hill Designs, and today I am working on week 17 of Marguerite Miller's Weekly Collage Planner Challenge. Uh, welcome to my channel. I hope everyone is doing well. Um, the props for this week are something ornate, a bottle or glass, an herb or other fragrant plant, a line from a poem or song, a piece of ribbon, and bonus a label. So on um, for this week, I already pre-glued a piece of background paper down, and this is uh, from a Stamperia pad, from a nature pad. And I liked that background for the elements that I've chosen. And uh, for something ornate, I chose a this door. I thought that that was very pretty and very ornately carved and painted, so I chose that. And for a bottle or glass, I chose this vase. Uh, this is a glass vase with Millie Fiori um, little glass pieces in there, and um, so I thought that was very pretty as well. I also chose this paperweight. I thought that was awfully pretty as I couldn't I couldn't limit it to just one. <laughs> I actually wanted some more glass pieces. I love glass. Um and for an herb or a fragrant plant, I chose this um I'm not sure. I, I it's not rosemary. I'm not sure what this is. I read it when I saved it. It looks like there might be some bay leaves in there. But um, I'm going to consider this my herb. And my little piece of ribbon, I've already attached to the back of this. So that will be my piece of ribbon. And um, a label, I chose this label. This is AF Griswold Potted Meats, South Bay Port, Roanoke Street. It must be Virginia, I'm guessing. But um, so I thought that was kind of cool. I thought that'd be a good label. And um, a line from a poem or song I chose. Are you going to Scarborough Fair? Parsley, sage, rosemary, and thyme. Um, two of my absolute all-time famous artists, uh, Simon and Garfunkel. Absolutely love them. This is one of my favorite songs. Um, I actually went to see them in concert and um, in person, and I didn't disappoint. I, I love love them. And in the song, um, he sings to his true love that would she make him a cambric shirt. And so I found this shirt. It was actually gray, and I just colored it in with my pencils. So I'm going to include this because that is in the song. So... Um, this is really fairly easy and straightforward. Uh, I'll glue the door down. And um, I think I can start with that. I don't think I have to tuck. But then again, I do always get my layout a little bit messed up in that sense with the order that I lay things down. But I think this can go down. Okay, I might need my tweezers for this. So I guess this is going to go about here. There's a little fox on this paper, which I thought this was so cute in a bird. And I just love um, this nature theme and scenery behind this. Uh, because when I think of Scarborough Fair, and the acre of land uh, that his true love is working. Um, I just thought that that kind of all goes there. And so I think I'll probably add my vase. Uh, maybe I should add the shirt first. This is one of those um, really cool barn doors that slide. I love that would love that in my house, but I don't really have any place for it. 
So I think I'll put that shirt there. Uh, the gray was kind of dull, so I thought I'd just color it in with my Derwent watercolor pencils. I didn't add any water to it to make it look like a watercolor painting. I just colored. So I'm just going to hang this shirt from there. And um, I think I'll add the base now. I, I love the Millie Fiore paperweights as well. I think they're beautiful. And I was thinking that I would put the paperweight on top of that vase. Um, let's see. Yeah, I think I'll put it on top there. So maybe I will do that first. Just kind of see what that looks like. Doesn't look straight, does it? There. Okay, so that looks like kind of a vase with a stopper, even though it's not. <laughs> okay, and I think maybe I'll put that down there. And um, this label, potted meats, I don't even know what that would be, potted meats. I thought I would just put it on here so that it's not too obtrusive in the in the picture, in the composition, just for my eye, I like that better, but who knows? I mean, it, I suppose it could go really anywhere on here. Uh, so I'll put that potted meat there. And um, I think I'm going to put the line one of the lines of the song here, I may tuck that. I may put that there. And um, I'm thinking my herbs can go over here hanging on this um, rail up here. And this ribbon, I'll just kind of glue it maybe over this way a bit. So let's see if I can kind of glue this down. Oh, it's clouding up here. And I heard that it's going to rain for about the next week. <laughs> Don't want the rain. I was actually going to go out and rake and it started to the wind started to blow really hard and it was getting very overcast so I guess raking will have to wait for a, another few days I'm going to twist that ribbon just to kind of consolidate it a bit I want it to hang off to the side here rather than be in front of the um the image of the herbs. I'll just see if I can kind of glue it over to one side. Oh, I think that'll be good. Something like that. So I think I'll hang that here. And um, this line from the song, Par Parsley, Sage, Rosemary, and Thyme, I thought I would put this up here. Um, hopefully that's not too, unless it goes up here, maybe. Maybe that's better. Uh, 
let's see. Hopefully that's okay. I'll try that. <clears throat> this is really simple and I, I think I've got everything. I'll have to go through my list to be sure, but yeah, I think I have everything. Uh, let's see. Kind of put that here. And maybe someone has slipped a note under this beautiful door and is asking, are you going to Scarborough Fair? <laughs> uh, that seems like that would be a good little story. And where is Scarborough Fair? I don't think I know. It's really actually a very old, I think, Celtic song, Scarborough Fair, the lyrics from it. And Paul Simon took those lyrics from that old Celtic song and uh, kind of reinterpreted it. But I, I love, love, love his version. Okay. So we have that down, and I wonder if I should just glue the ribbon just a tiny, maybe just tack it a tiny bit so it doesn't go anywhere. Maybe something like that. And maybe a little bit there. There, I, I think that's okay. Let's see, should that come down? There. Okay, and the very last, I guess I'll put this bottle. Let's see, I don't know if it should engage the shirt or not. I suppose that looks like um, some depth the bottle is in front of the shirt. And I guess I'll put this here as if someone's slipping the note under the door. So maybe something like that. So let's see. These images on here are so pretty, I think. The colors are just very appealing to me. I think when you're working with colors that really appeal to you, it's, it's even more fun. And I'll just slip this under here. Like that. It's funny, as I'm doing this, I can hear the song in my mind. <laughs> I'm kind of humming it in my mind. Just one of those songs that, you know, sometimes melodies just appeal to you. This is one of them for me. <clears throat> I'll just pop this lastly on there. There, I think that's done. And I think I'll put the date on there. I, I like the idea of adding the date now to these. Um, I think it makes it very interesting. And actually today is my little grandson's birthday. I shouldn't say little. He is 13 today. He's a teenager, so that's really pretty exciting. Although I don't want them to grow up, but he is. Okay, I think that's done. So something ornate would be the door. 
a bottle or glass would be this this bottle and glass and the the bottle or vase is glass an herb or a fragrant plant that would be these hanging i think it's bay leaves that looks like juniper i know that's not an herb but um and there's some lavender in there as well so that is the fragrant plant line from a poem or song that would be the scarborough fair lines a piece of ribbon, this is a, just a little piece of crinkled um, of seam binding. So that takes care of that, and a label. So that is the Griswold Potted Meats from Southport, which looks like it's a little crooked to me, but it's going to have to stay there now. <laughs> it's down to stay now. And I think I'll just put a tiny, one more tiny dab of glue on this just to kind of keep that down as well. Keep that little edge down. Of course, when my book is closed, it'll, um, I, I generally, when I close the book, I put a rubber band around it because it is getting kind of thick. So that is my image, and um, I just, oh, there's a little warning that my battery is low on here, and I think it stopped recording. Yes, it did. So that is my uh, composition, and I'll thank you very much for joining me today, and I'm wishing you many blessings. Sorry if there was a little pause in the video. I got a low power mode message on my phone, so I, <laughs> I'm i not going to edit this, so I hope that um, there's not too much missing. But anyway, thank you for joining me, and I wish you many blessings. Bye for now. I'll just do a little close-up for you. Being that my video stopped for a minute, I never got to do a little close-up here. So thanks, and bye again for now.